What's going on everybody? Welcome to Ryan Pineda Show where we talk all things money, real estate, and entrepreneurship. And today you've caught us on our weekly vlog. And in this week's vlog, I actually wanna introduce every person on my team and talk about our company structure. But the best part of this is that they don't know we're gonna do that. Most of them are not trained on the camera and very good at it, so we're gonna just surprise them. They didn't shave, they don't look good, they're dressed like bums, they have no idea they're gonna be on camera. Hopefully we get thousands and thousands of views and they're really embarrassed. But with that being said, let's go interview all of them and see what their role is at the company and if they should even have a role. I'm just kidding guys, I love these guys most of the time. So before we go out there and talk to them, let me give you a little bit of background about our company. We flip over 100 homes a year here in Las Vegas, mainly fix and flip. We do some wholesaling as well. We keep some as rentals. I also have other companies in this office, such as Future Flipper, my education company, Forever Home Realty, which is my brokerage, and TrueBook CPA, which is my tax company. And with running a lot of companies, I need the right people in place and the right corporate structure. I'm gonna start from the top down on explaining who's in charge of what, just for the house flipping side. So this is my COO Noelle's office. She's the COO of all my companies. So she basically oversees all of the companies on a big picture level. She knows what I wanna achieve in each company and her job is to make sure that happens. Now you're probably wondering, where's she at? Good question, I don't know either. No, just kidding, she's super scared of what's going on so we pretty much just make fun of her all the time for being really scared. All right, so the first person we're gonna to walk to is Sean Bob, who's the COO of Home Run Offer. Tell everybody what you do. Everything you need to do, that's what I do. Everything? Everything you need to do. What does that mean? Like, what else do you do? Um, analyze deals, I am the liaison on, on behalf of you. I do everything with title. The only thing I don't do is sign your name. And then you manage all these guys, right? I try to manage all these guys, try to get all the deals locked up. What happens when these guys don't do what they're supposed to do? Um, I lock them out of the office and they have to do push-ups. Okay. Do you, like, what are your office hours? Every, every second I'm up. Every second you're awake? Yeah. Okay. I'm saying if you want to look at my text messages, I get texts at like about 11 o'clock at night sometimes with Ryan. Is that reasonable for the COO? I don't know. <laughs> Is it reasonable for anyone? <laughs> Okay, enough of you. All right, the next guy we're going to is Monty here. And Monty wears a few different hats. Tell him about the hats you wear. Um, let's see here. I do marketing, data, dispositions, Sean Bob's assistant, <laughs> transactions. Um, I filled in for Sean Bob when he was gone. So you say I'm technically the COO for a week. <laughs> Didn't do the best job, not gonna lie. But um, basically what I do, whatever Ryan needs as well. I, I work at all hours of the day, even weekends. Um, so I do, as far as marketing goes, I handle our weekly meetings with TV, PPC. I manage seven callers in the Philippines, which is a nightmare. Um, then as far as dispositions go, I pretty much, I sell every deal here. We don't keep a deal for more than 15 minutes. <laughs> I've sold, our average wholesale fee is like 30K because of me. <laughs> um, compared when Sean Bob is about 20 on the low end. <laughs> um, I basically do it all. I do it all. All right, all right. Um, I don't really know what follow-up questions after that. That's pretty good. Dude, you do it all. <laughs> exactly do it all. my point, I do it all. Tell them about um, just like how getting Podio, you are just talking about Podio, like getting it to where it is today. How, how's that hassle been? <sighs> Deep breath. It's been about six months. Honestly, when I first, because we did the predictive index and I got switched from sales to marketing slash dispositions and my first project was Podio and we just got it dialed in, I would say like a week ago. So it's been two times a week, uh, meetings for an hour to an hour and a half, just basically breaking down our Podio from like, it's dialed into us. So I mean, it does, it basically functions itself. So it sends messages, it can submit offers. Um, it pretty much dials anything from KPIs to just anything you want our Podio basically does it. And it's taken six, actually no, it's been nine months, sorry, nine months of doing this. So, but we finally got it working, it functions. Hopefully we can take it to market soon. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be giving it to Probably later students. than sooner, but hopefully get that done, but yeah. Once we work out the kinks, we're gonna be giving it to our students, so. That's a lot of stuff. Morale booster. A morale booster. Morale booster. Yeah, yeah. Ping pong. You know, ping pong. Okay, I'm like second. The big thing. I'm like second in ping pong. Yeah, I need a worthy opponent in ping pong, <laughs> so that's good. 
All right, so the next guy we have is Michael, which is our longest tenured sales guy. How long have you been working here? Uh, how long has it been? Two and a half years? Like two and a half years, right yeah. around there. So tell us about kind of what your role is at this point. So my role right now is just strictly, so you got calls coming through right now, is to get deals. Um, that's my main focus. So I just, I come in and I, I hit all the TV leads, all the website leads is like my main thing in the morning and just try to lock up deals. Right. So <clears throat> our setup is that we have guys who are in the office and guys outside of the office. So Michael is the head guy inside of the office. So anytime we get a brand new lead, he is talking to that lead and trying to figure out what are we going to do with them? Are we going to try to close them over the phone? Are we going to send somebody on an appointment? Does it need to be a listing? Should we send a listing agent instead? He is the judgment on all of those things. So he's the judge, jury, and executioner of everything. Yeah. It's been interesting, you know, to switch over to what I used to do to, to now. You know, started out just manually dialing numbers, you know, grinding away long hours. And uh, our system now is a lot better than it used to be. So it's a lot more efficient, a lot more automated. And, man, we're killing it this year, you know, just under, under his tutelage and, you know, just where we are now is a uh, long way than where we used to be. Right, I mean, when we started marketing for the first time when he joined, he's the only one who remains. Mainly <laughs> because of my fault for like not doing it the right way. But yeah, like he was saying, we started out just cold calling ourselves in-house all day, you know? And so he was doing that, still getting deals with no training, just cold calling and closing them from start to finish over the phone. So that tells you, even if you don't know what you're doing, with hard work and the right things, you can still get deals. But once you kind of dial it in and figure out a real systematic approach, things get way easier. Like now, how much easier is it to get a deal than it was then? Oh, it's it's so much easier. Where we we would call probably a thousand people and maybe get a deal. It's now like a hundred. You know, it's like we're ten times more efficient compared to where it used to be. And then the training is is just it's paramount to where you know where we were to where we are today. Right. So <clears throat> this is how having a team really benefits everyone is like before we did that we didn't have anyone in charge of marketing just like here's some numbers have at it right so with everything Monty does over there he needs Monty to do what he needs to do okay because Monty has to set up all the marketing to make sure that we're getting the leads so that he can close them or set an appointment for who I'm going to tell you about here in a second okay so everything just funnels together and it's it's like any sports team if one person is a weak link it screws the whole team, you know? You have to have everybody on the same page or the team cannot function. Okay, so we're gonna jump over a mic to another mic. This is Mike Stevenson. Yeah, I'll sure. Can you tell us about your role? Of course, so I am the guy that Ryan just mentioned, one of the outside sales agents. Uh, my main role is to go on appointments, go to houses, check them out, check out the condition, kind of have that conversation, do negotiations and lock up the deals. Um, if I'm not scheduled on an appointment and I'm here in the office, then I'm doing follow-ups, I'm working old leads, or uh, if nothing else, I'll just sit in the dialer and then I get a lot of potential and things from there also. You do some text too, right? I do some text as well. Right. Um, let's see, we just locked one up just the other day from text, but yeah, just whatever needs to be done. So the thing with Mike is when he's here, you know, it's cool, but we'd rather him not be here because if he's not here, then... <laughs> yeah. We love his personality, okay? <laughs> you know, he, we think he's just a bright light to the office, but when he's not here, that means he's on appointments trying to make money. Yep. When he's here, that tells me, okay, he doesn't have appointments, that means we're not setting enough leads. And then I have to look at him and say, hey, why is he here? You need to set some appointments for this guy. Once again, that's how the whole team works. If someone's not doing their job, it affects him, and he can't eat now. So everything has to be working together. All right, next guy up. We got my man Dan right here. Hey, so what's going Dan on? Dan is a realtor with us at Forever Home Realty, and he is, I'll let you tell us. Um, so I'm basically the MLS guy over here. Uh, spent about five, six hours a day just scouring the MLS, looking for things that might be a possible discounted deal, um, call agents and basically negotiate and try to get them to accept my really, really low offer. <laughs> uh, other than that, um, I'm kind of like the head appointment guy. I go on 50-50 appointments, which we call, which are, it might be a cash offer, uh, might be a listing, you know, since I'm a licensed realtor, I can kind of go both ways. So it gives me a lot of wiggle room with sellers to kind of find the solution to their problems. Um, and that's basically my job here, just writing offers all day and talking to people. And the beauty with having Dan is that 
we can send them on a deal we're unsure of. Like, hey, we don't know if they're going to be a cash offer. We don't know if they're going to be a listing. So send a guy who can go both ways and kind of just feel it out versus Stevenson, who, does, who isn't licensed. So we will only send him if we're like, hey, this is going to be a cash offer situation. Even with me, I'll still go on appointments, but I can only go for a cash offer because I'm not licensed and it's just not really worth my time. So it's good to have both people on appointments. And he's the same way. It's like, yeah, I want to see him out of the office on appointments, but he's also on MLS. So I want to see him getting those MLS deals too. All right, so the last person on the sales team is Chuck Bob right here. If you're wondering if Chuck Bob's his real name, it's not. Sean Bob nicknamed him Chuck Bob. And then if somebody else probably has a Bob name too. Cam Bob. Cam Bob. Um, but his real name's Robert. That's why he's a Bob. So he does very similar stuff to Mike in that he's here in the office, setting appointments, doing that. You got anything else to add? I'll be honest with you, I mean, I probably get cussed out more than everybody because uh, I, I definitely try to talk to everybody even if you don't want to sell. So I'm just trying to do my job. <laughs> That's Chuck Bob for you. Just right to the point. Just let's get it done. You're going to sell me your house or not. Peace. So I actually forgot one person because the new guy. We don't acknowledge him. But let's, it, let's just tell you a little bit about him. So this is Cam. Up, He's the new guy. Um, any new guy we get with training, we always make sure that they're starting next to Sean Bob, next to Monty, keep an eye on them, make sure they're doing what they need to do, training. Tell them like what you're doing as far as like starting out. So for starting out, basically I'm going through all the old leads. So right now I'm looking at uh, four, four months old leads that uh, we're running through the database, just trying to generate some new leads to figure out if they're still willing to sell their home. So that's pretty much what I do here. Right, and Cam's also a licensed agent, um, so he's able to do other things as well too. But with new guys that we get, right, you don't want to put them on brand new leads because brand new leads are really expensive. For us, a TV lead might cost us $100. So if it's going to cost us $100, I want to make sure that I got my most experienced guy on it, which Michael handles all the TV leads. Um, for you to get better leads, you got to really work your way up and prove that you can handle the crappy leads. I mean, like Michael was just saying, he started out cold calling himself, mm -hmm. just purely cold leads and still locking up deals. So if you prove you can do that, you prove you can handle anything, right? So right now it's been what, two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. So he's been here two weeks. We'll usually put him through a week of training, just shadowing, watching, going through the sales training we have. Then now this week, he's just been hitting all the old leads. Yeah. So you've already been close on a couple. Yeah, we had two close ones off by about five thousand dollars we would have netted about 50 grand so well that's close they're still they're still available so true that's true so that's what a new guy looks like for you so i'm going to give you guys actually one more bonus guy he's not necessarily a part of the house flipping side but this is roham who's the head of future flipper so he is the person who basically is the liaison with all of our students making sure they have whatever they need onboarding them doing all the crap i don't want to do with future flipper <laughs> exactly you want to add to that yeah, so basically my title is membership director for Future Flipper company right there. Um, my most part, I run sales, operations, and marketing for Future Flipper. Ryan actually does the educating, but everything else is all me. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just onboard new guys and filter out the guys who aren't ready. Okay, actually I forgot. There is one more person I want you guys to meet. We have Bri right here. He is the, what's your actual title? Gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. He's the gatekeeper for everything so in actuality he is the i honestly don't know your title at forever home what is your title <laughs> office manager the office manager he's the office manager at forever home so he makes sure everyone gets their onboarding packets for my brokerage what else do you do everybody gets paid on time get their file ready make sure everybody's files are correct so yep files whatever they need i get i take i get so He's the gatekeeper. You want to get in to meet somebody, you got to get past Bri. There's a reason I got like an enforcer type guy right here because, man, you just never know. <laughs> so what's cool about Bri is he actually started working for me at Home Run Offer originally. And what you'll find is a lot of those guys have worked many different roles. Some of them are agents at Forever Home. Some of them have flip-flopped. Um, like Roham's also an agent at Forever Home. He used to work at Home Run Offer. Now he's doing Future Flipper. Bry started out working at Home Run Offer, doing the cold calls just like Michael from, like, those were tough. Yeah. Yeah, like, that was when we were first starting two and a half years ago. Actually, Michael, you're not longest tenure. Bry nope. is. 
I was first hired. <laughs> Brian was hired before Michael. So actually, I take that back what I said about Michael. Yeah, he's one of the guys who transitioned. I had him at home run, and then we had an opening at Forever Home, and I'm like, look, I think you're a better fit here, and it's been a beautiful thing. All right, so there's a couple of people we did not film today because this is a very impromptu video, but number one would be Nick Devitt, my partner at Forever Home Realty. He's the broker over there. And then Matt Bontrager, my partner at True Books. He's the CPA over there. And so their jobs are to oversee those companies. So when you look at my company structure as a whole, you have me at the top just kind of giving the vision for what we want to accomplish. Then you have Noel right under me making sure all four companies are doing what they need to do. Then you have the heads of each company running the day to day. You have Sean Bob running Home Run Offer, you have Nick running Forever Home Realty, you have Matt running TrueBook CPA, and you have Roham running Future Flipper. And that's not to say I'm not involved with them. I do things for all of those companies. I meet with our realtors, I train them, I'll go close deals for Home Run Offer. On Future Flipper, I'm educating people and giving them all that information. On TrueBooks, uh, I don't really know what I do. I'm honestly just the guinea pig for TrueBooks on different tax strategies we're doing and new things that I want done because if I want them done and they work for me, they're most likely gonna work for other real estate investors. And that's pretty much the team. So a couple of things I wanna acknowledge about the team. Number one, obviously there's not a lot of females. I really wish we had more to kind of lower the testosterone, but just the way it's always played out, men just wanna work here. And even when I look at my social media analytics, my YouTube analytics, it's around 85 to 90% male, which I find really crazy, but those are the people who are coming to me when I have a job opening. The second thing you probably noticed about our office is it's very much like a locker room. Everybody is willing to make fun of each other. Everyone's really happy, everyone's open. We try to have a lot of energy. And I think having that type of environment really helps you as a company. You're gonna get the most out of guys. Guys are gonna enjoy coming to work. And that's just my personality. I like to make fun of people. I like to make fun of myself. I don't like to take life super serious. If I came to the office and everyone just had their head down, not talking to each other, just trying to work really hard, I wouldn't like it. I want guys to have freedom to have fun here. But at the same time, you gotta make sure that they're doing work and getting deals and doing what they gotta do. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it gave you some background on what we've got going on here. If you like this video, do me a big favor, go hit that like button. If you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button and follow me on all the socials. I'm active on there daily. And until next time, take care.